everyone and welcome back to another video i hope everyone is okay today um i have got a bit of an interesting one this time this is from madam glam but it's not um a gel polish collection this is actually let me just show you it's actually these which is um these are regular polishes so they've brought out their own range of regular polishes they are really cute little bottles. How much? 8ml is in these bottles. Um, so you've got colours there. They're all like sort of creamy colours. Um, there is, you can't see that very well, but that is a top coat. And then I'm assuming this is a base coat. Yeah, that's a base coat. So you've got a top and base coat there. Mimi Pink. Pastel Love, Warm Up, um, Spring Breeze, Birds Fairy, that's a weird name, Sweet Sunshine, I wish we had some of that at the moment. Yeah, it's rubbish in the UK, the weather's terrible. Minty Green is the last one. So, I'm going to get all these swatched now. Bear with me because it has been a long time since I've used regular polish. And I'm going to swatch them on swatch sticks. I'm going to use the base coat and the top coat. Um, and let's see if I can get these swatches done without messing them up. And then we'll have a look at all the colours. Right, so what I'm going to do first is put the base coat on the swatch sticks. And then I'll let that dry. Then I'll put all the colours on. Um, then do a second coat if they need it and then put the top coat on. Um, so it says that it's quick dry. It is air drying so you don't need a UV lamp. They are vegan as usual and cruelty free but it also says that these are HEMA free. So that's good. So they do have like a normal polishy smell as you would expect. So this is just the base coat going on. Um, and the bottles have this um, curved brush. Can you see that? So I'm really liking that. Okay, so I've got all the swatch sticks with the base coat on. And you can see it is clear. It's slightly cloudy, um, but that's dry now. And that's that did dry quickly, probably about a minute and that was dry. So I'm going to start off with this Mimi Pink. So let me just read the back of that. So it is a much thinner, watery consistency, much um, thinner than a gel polish would be, which is to be expected. So obviously with a regular polish, you can't do as many strokes as you can. With, as a gel polish because it starts to dry so I'm gonna have to just leave that now it's not the best application so that's one coat I'll show you what it's like with two coats so we're gonna try the top coat now and again it is a very liquidy sort of watery consistency that I'm not really used to and I've just got a bit of dust or something in that now as well. So we'll let that dry and see what it's like.
okay so here they all are together it's a really lovely like pastel collection i really like them uh, the only thing I don't like is that um, the regular polishes because I have to wait for them to dry and I'm not used to waiting for polishes to dry. It's like it reminds me of how frustrating it was when, you know, I was at school and I used to put nail polish on because I love nails even back in school. And I would put nail polish on and then I'd wait for it to dry and I'd end up smudging it because I, I couldn't wait that long. Sometimes I'd put it on just before I went to bed and then you know, I was waiting. I thought, well, I can just go to sleep while it dries. Um, but that never worked either. I always woke up and it was all like smudged and everything because I must have moved around when I was asleep. So yeah, um, I do really like the colours though. So yeah, and they are very, um, they're very creamy. For regular polishes, I think they are a nice formula. They are nice to use. Um, it's just, obviously I'm not used to it and you have to do it at a certain speed otherwise they do start to dry and then you can't really do much with them so you've literally got a few strokes i mean i did natural nail polish when i was at college doing my nail tech um qualification and they taught us to do three strokes so you do you know one stroke for the middle and then one for the left and one for the right and that is so difficult to do. You, you, I could never do it in three strokes, but some of them are, you know, some of these nail techs are really good at doing it. Um, and if you do it that way, then you do get a thin, even coat and it does dry fine. Um, but I'm that used to gel polish and doing quite a few more strokes than that to get it perfect. Um, this was quite difficult. So yeah, I do like the colour of them. The only thing I use regular nail polish for is stamping so i am quite interested to see whether these will stamp so i think we'll have a little bit of an experiment and see what happens with them uh, to be honest i don't think these will be right for stamping because they, they are they say quick dry on the bottle but stamping just sorry stamping polishes do dry incredibly quickly and i don't think these are that quick so we'll see what happens anyway i'll give it a go and see if it works so i did try different colors um sort of the more pigmented ones i tried with the fine image first and it didn't work at all it just didn't work um it didn't pick up the fine images so with um a thicker image just this little flower um it did pick most of it up but there was gaps um, so I tried it again using this blue colour um, and I did get it to pick up but again there were bits missing um, so yeah I don't think this polish is particularly um, good for stamping it just didn't um, it just didn't like doing it but that's not what they're for so I just thought I'd give it a go so that you know you didn't waste your time trying if, if you were wondering that so yeah, if you're really good at stamping, you can probably get it to work um, a bit better than I can because I'm not that good at doing this. I've not been doing it that long. But yeah, they are beautiful, pretty polishes. But I would use different polishes for stamping. But it's up to you. See see what you think. If you're really good at stamping, give it a go and then, um, you know, let everybody know if it works. It might just be my technique, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. So I'm just going to leave this with you. If you do want this collection, um, you can use the link that is in the comments or there is a link in my description box as well. Um, and I think they do sell these nail polishes separately as well. So I'll put links to everything from this video in the description below, along with my Madam Glam discount code, which is 35%. So that's quite a big saving. Um, so yeah, you can see that on the screen up there as well. So yeah, let me know what you think of these polishes. Do you still use regular polish? I think a lot of people that I know have sort of converted to gel polish, but there are a lot of people that still love regular polish. So let me know. And don't forget to like this video if you did like it. If you are not already a subscriber, why not subscribe? It's free. And then if you click the notification bell, YouTube will tell you whenever I upload a new video. So that is going to be it for this one. I'll leave it as a swatch video. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.